Hey, what's going on YouTube family and friends? This is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today where I'm here helping you grow something tasty. Today's question, why seeds not germinating? All right, so if you have wheat germination rates or if your seedlings are just not coming up, you have spotty germination like what you're seeing right here, then I'm gonna go over the top seven reasons why seeds not germinating. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. The very first reason is the seeds are not viable or they're old. All right, so when I heard about seeds not being viable, when I soak my seeds, you will see some seeds that are up on the top surface of the water. It doesn't, they don't sink down to the bottom. I've heard the seeds that sink down to the bottom, those are the ones you want to plant. The seeds that are at the top of the water floating, something's wrong with them, they're not viable, so you want to stay away from them. I didn't do that. I saw that there were seeds that were floating, even though I've heard that. So the next time I uh, plant seeds, which is coming up soon, uh, the seeds that are floating, I'm going to take them to the side and put them in a little area and I'm going to label that and then I'm going to put the seeds on the uh, other side that's sunk to the bottom. I just want to know for myself. If you know if that's true, put it in the comments and just let everyone know. All right, now the second part to that about the seeds being old. Well, they're too old, chances are they're not going to be viable either. And what you can do if you go to the uh, store, you can go look for the uh, expiration date. On this one, it says that it this best sold by 2022 of December. So it's been a couple months, so I may not have total germination, but it's always good to look and see what the uh, actual expiration date is. And if you're saving seeds, you want to make sure that you label the uh, date so you'll know how old they are. All right, now that is the first reason. The next reason is you have reason number two, you have immature seed pods. And did you, this used to get me a lot when I get my bell peppers, all my pepper plants, and I will pull the seeds from the green uh, peppers. So you want, if you're having pepper plants, you want to make sure that it's fully mature. So you want to make sure you pull from the red uh, peppers, the yellow peppers, or the orange peppers. For some reason, every time I pull from the uh, green peppers, I, none of my seeds ever uh, germinate. So I stopped doing that a long time ago. So that's to just to give you an example. The seeds are not mature. So you want to stay away from seeds that are not mature because you will get no uh, germination at all. So that is the uh, second reason. All right, reason number three, if you're planting, your, you're starting your seeds and you notice that it's real cold in the area of your home, and especially if you're planting warm uh, weather uh, crops, and if that temperature is not up, those seeds are going to have a hard time germinating. So what you need to do is you need to get a heating mat and you can put that on your uh, grow rack like what I've done. And then you can uh, get the temperature up so that those seeds can have the uh, correct temperature it needs so that germination increase. So if you don't want to use the uh, mats, you want to make sure that you put it in an area of your home where you know it gets uh, it's a lot warmer. Upstairs on the second level, heat rises. So if you have an area up there, I know our house is a lot warmer upstairs. So I'm even thinking about moving some of my seedlings up to the uh, second level of my home. Just make sure it has what it needs. All right, reason number four, you wanna make sure that you clean your trays. You wanna make sure you clean the uh, pots from the, the previous season. Because if you have old soil in the pots and you go ahead and plant your seeds in, if it has any uh, bacteria or any uh, substance that is not uh, good for the uh, seeds to uh, germinate in, it is going to uh, st probably stop the uh, germination rates as well. So definitely you can take the uh, seed tray over to your sink. You can put soapy water on it. You can use the uh, solution with uh, vinegar. Like I said, I don't like the smell of vinegar like I told you in one of my other videos. So I take it over to my sink and I go ahead and put soapy water and I Make sure I get all the uh, insides clean as well as the uh, trays. So make sure you clean your trays 
so that you don't have to worry about anything harming your seeds. All right, reason number five, you wanna make sure that you do not plant your seeds too deep in the uh, pot because you gotta think about it. If you have smaller seeds and you plant them way too deep, chances are it's not gonna have enough energy to break through all the uh, potting soil. So you wanna be mindful of that. And I had a gardener, a master gardener, asked me years ago, is there a difference between planting your seeds and burying your seeds? As a young gardener back then, I was like, there's no difference, you're just putting dirt on it. And he was like, nah, you think about it, when you bury something, you're really putting it down into the soil. So then I thought about that. I'm planting seeds, I'm not burying them. All right, so I wanna make sure that I don't cover them with too much soil. And a good rule of thumb is, Take, for example, the little teeny uh, pepper uh, seeds. You know how small they are. So I plant them the width of the seeds. So that's not that deep. Because it, just think about it. If I plant it way down here, that little pepper seed is not going to generate enough energy to push all the way through. So you want to think about that when you're looking at your, uh, your seeds. Plant the width of the seed. And you should be in a good place with your uh, germination rate. All right, reason number six, you want to make sure that you're not overwatering your seeds. So a good rule of thumb, what I do is I have trays where I can just go ahead and remove one of the, uh, the pots and then pour my water in the bottom of the trays. And then once I get finished, I'm going to put the uh, cup back in and I'm probably going to let mine sit. Well, I do let mine sit for like 20 minutes and the soil and the uh, plants, they soak up what they need. After the 20 minutes, I go ahead and discard the water because I don't want them sitting in, wa in water. So you don't want to overwater. And if you overwater your seeds, what is going to happen? You're going to have deter deterioration of the seed. You're going to have your seeds are going to start rot rotting. You don't want rotting seeds. All right. So just be mindful. Too much water is a bad thing. Your seeds are going to deteriorate and it's going to start rotting the seed and you're not going to get any, any germination to uh, come up. All right. Reason number seven, you do not want your seeds to stay in dry soil. All right. You know that this, your seeds needs to be moist. That is going to create an environment for them to break through their, their shell and start to come up into the uh, little seedlings that we want. But if we don't water the uh, seeds and the uh, soil stays dry, that is not going to be uh, helpful to the uh, seed. The seed is not going to come up. So you want to make sure with reason number six and reason number seven, you want to have a actual schedule of how you're watering. And you may decide to water twice a week, whatever your routine is, you want to make sure you stick with it. You don't want to water every single second or you don't want to go weeks or yeah weeks without watering because that's not going to help that seed and get it in the best place that it needs to be. You want to make sure that your seeds are moist, You're not watered down, not bone dry. All right, now I'm going to give you a bonus uh, reason. Now, some of the uh, seedlings, now they're starting, to, the seeds are starting to come up. On this side, not so much. But these are my tomato plants, and I put pepper plants over here. I started these a lot sooner than I did this side. But the some seeds are going to take a long time for the uh, seeds to break through, to germinate. So I'm going to bring you in close. I spotted two of these uh, seeds starting to come up. And that's just my point. You, so A lot of us gardeners, we like to be like, they're not coming up, they're not coming up. I'm getting nervous. All right, so some seeds take longer. And if you know anything about pepper seeds, they take a long time. But I want you to see for yourself. All right, now if you look carefully, you'll see the little green uh, seedlings start to come up. So I was getting kind of nervous. I have, I have another one right here all right so some seeds just take a longer time before they uh, actually germinate so we got to make sure that we stay patient hopefully the rest of the seeds are coming up because i was getting real worried all right these are my seven reasons why germination rates may suffer a little bit 
Now, in the uh, comments, if you have another reason why your seedlings are not coming up, I just in general, please put it down in the comments and let me know your thoughts so that we all can learn from one another. And this is our community and we're trying to make sure that we help everyone out, including myself, so that we can grow more food and grow something tasty. All right, this is Bear Brown. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.